Welcome, welcome, Dr. Stephen Hobbs here from the Wealth Movement, sharing a tip for co-creating the well-living workplace. Someone was chatting with me the other day, and they asked me a question around, um, I wish I knew this when I started managing and leading. They, they asked me, and they got me talking about it, and I extended that out, and I said, well, from a consulting point of view as well, because I've had the pleasure of serving as a CEO and uh, manager at different levels and organizations, just as I have been an entrepreneur consultant into workplaces. And when I, when I heard this, I, I sort of caught on and I went, oh, I know what it is. And it's about what's called the hierarchy of values. In other words, each person carries with them a hierarchy of values. And it's very important when you're managing and leading, in particular leading, to understand that hierarchy of values. Because when you do, you're able to touch the heart and the head and then the hands, rather than trying to go at it from the head to the heart to the hands. Because when you value something in your life, then you pay more attention to it and what surrounds that value that's in your life. And I attribute this to Dr. John Demartini, and I'll put a link around the video, that he has a, a hierarchy of values assessment. And I encourage you to um, go and complete it so that you have some insights for yourself. Now, what Dr. Demartini has done is he said that there's seven of these hierarchy of values. And if I can, they are spiritual, physical, social, familial, financial, vocational, and mental. And being that I enjoy the numbers nine plus one or 10, I added three to his seven, and they are ecological, philanthropic, and holistic. Because I wanted to expand out a little bit more of what a person might value in their life as they move more from the inside out and out from there. Now again, this hierarchy of values I have used to my uh, advantage many times because by listening to someone, you hear it in their words. You look at the situation from which they're coming from. You uh, listen to how they spend their time. You uh, listen to how they put their effort out or where they place their effort, um, how they manage their time. There's always clues in what someone is sharing with you. And as someone who is leading and understanding these clues, then you're able to encourage the, the performance, to encourage the participation, to encourage the contribution to the productivity. So I encourage you to look at this world of the hierarchy of values and again, I would certainly encourage you to think about the course that I have, which is at wealthmovement.com. Again, wealth, W-E-L-L-T-H. Uh, it's forward slash organizational dash health. And again, the links are around the video. So with that, I leave it with you. Enjoy your leading. Enjoy seeking out and understanding more about the hierarchy of values. And if you do have any questions at any point in time beyond uh, you know, what you find around uh, the video, you can always use the contact page at wealthmovement.com forward slash contact. So with that, take care.